Hi all, another interesting Leela Chess game, Leela ID 458. Now this is using a recommendation of aggressive openings, which I, I gave a link for Stack Exchange. And John D on the Gauntlet Results uh, Fred in the Leela Chess forum uh, picked up my suggestion for aggressive openings and set up a series of very rapid uh, time limit control 40 moves for one minute each each and uh, next 40 in another minute so that's what actually these games have been on very rapid time control games so it's a real test of Leela Chess's uh, intuition it's a bit like the, the computer chess equivalent of, of our grandmasters playing rapid and blitz chess so it's much more blunderful and fun but we've added these super aggressive openings now John D and this is in the scotch game this is a well-known gambit in the scotch game e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 so Lula chess playing white just to reinforce that e takes knight takes now this is a bit of a dodgy move it's known to be a bit dodgy and materialistic white plays knight c3 bishop b4 so threatening queen takes e4 now white ignores that here because there's a possibility of knight b5 uh, if if black takes that pawn black plays knight g e7 white castles bishop takes b takes and stockfish 5 this is on one cpu by the way stockfish 5 on one cpu plays a6 uh, so that stops the use of knight b5 if queen takes e4 knight b5 is a, is a real nuisance here and white can get a good advantage for example like this uh, the black pawn structure is a bit compromised the dark squares are a bit weak the bishop will see it's a bit of a problem white's got a big advantage there uh, so let's assume so a6 let's carry on brother a f4 was played by Lila chess and this shows actually white's got a really good aggressive position here uh, black has inflicted structural damage but look at the bishop pair d6 bishop e3 black castles queen d2 this is, seems to be very logical play connecting rooks supports ideas like f5 and bishop g5 rook e8 bishop d3 h6 and now a nice attacking move i think you can guess it rook f3 a, a standard rook lift it's a nice preliminary to try and break down the opponent's king position bishop d7 rook g3 so a pawn is pinned here and of course f5 would mean bishop takes h6 now queen f6 we have move rook f1 so building up the pieces to their optimum before any breakthrough king h8 f5 now black is pretty helpless in this possession actually if you look at this it looks extremely dangerous b5 is played and now Leila Chas actually plays knight takes c6 which I believe in some way lures away potentially defensive resources this exchange knight takes because now after rook h3 there's a very nasty coordination on h6 very nasty king g8 is played and guess what is played here if I give you five seconds to pause the video what would you play with white okay bishop takes h6 it's very very dangerous black dare not take that uh, it's uh, basically black played let's just check what black played b4 was played and now rook g3 is crushing anyway it's crashing through to uh, g7 b takes queen e3 and it doesn't matter about queen d4 exchanging off queens here after queen takes knight takes bishop takes g7 this is absolutely crushing this position bishop f6 check king f8 and now another nice attacking move is white interested in the material or going for the king do you think goes for the king with rook f4 just to try and switch the rook to mate the black king and basically black just gave up here with this move rook e6 Gaiman's, I mean, just giving up the rook to fend off the mating threats. Now, I know this is totally unfair, totally unfair time limit. And it's an old version of Stockfish 5 or 1 CPU. But 
Uh, so, but this is self-learning AI destroying a version of Stockfish. I think that's a great achievement because Stockfish is one of the leading brute force chess engines in the world. I think we're going to see it crawl up the versions of Stockfish it can beat in the next few weeks. In the next few weeks, I believe it's going to beat more and more Stockfish 6, etc. Stockfish 7. There's a few versions for the mighty Stockfish. But this was a super fast time limit, to be fair, and a super aggressive opening forced on the chess engines. The initiative clearly is in favour of white. And when I talk about initiative, I mean really aggressive looking pieces where the opponent's kind of on the defensive as a result of this dodgy Queen H4. It's actually giving white a ferocious initiative, Queen H4. Uh, that's when black tries to be a little bit greedy. It's it's punishable, and it's kind of well known actually. It's a bit dodgy queen h4 in this opening. But I thought I'd share it with you just in case you found it interesting. I did a little bit. Comments, questions, likes, shares appreciated, and thanks to John D for kicking off a, a load more games to check out. Thanks so much.